Hello and welcome to Nigel's Workbench. The workbench today we have my Spectrum Plus 2 which I'm going to have a look at because I think there's a few more mods I need to do to it. So we'll just get all the screws out and get it apart. Oh, I've got the motherboard out of the case and I did a mod here previously with the RF so you get composite out. This actually goes to link number four so the center of the plug goes to link four. This gives quite a good picture on that but to do the mod that I need to do to get a better picture out of RGB I need to remove link four and put it on link two. Uh, and I'm not certain whether the mod will still work if I do that so I'm going to remove that first and then swap these over I also need to put a 47 470 ohm resistor in R9 just there so I'll get on with doing that then so first thing we'll do is remove the wire from link 2 Easy to do. Well, that's that out of the way. Now I need to take the solder from link two. blue tack on this side to hold it in while I tack it from the bottom. ohm resistor into R9 which is also filled up with solder so I need to remove the solder from there let's add a little bit first that's it right there we need to add this 470 ohm resistor into R9 So that should stop the flickering on the RGB. 
Now that I'll be back in a little while when I've had a bit of a tidy up. <laughs> Right, put it all back together. This is the first time I've tried it. So, um, so let's uh, switch on and see what happens. Now, before I was getting, uh, getting a bit of screen wobble. Looks pretty steady now. Put the keyboard back in. Just leave it a few seconds because what was happening the message from the video converter kept coming back on which meant it was must have been resetting the video signal so I'm just going to wait for that to go off and then uh, see if it stays off right off now so let's try test that definitely looks better made a difference. Just have to give it a long term test but it's looking good. So the next thing we need to test is will this mod still work if I connect it to an LK1? Easier said than done. thing to try is let's put the scarf on back in again So we're getting a picture on the right hand part of LK4. So I'll tap that onto there. I'll tap that onto there. Thank you. 
for some reason but it does work so I can put the just show you what exactly I've done here so I removed link 4 and replaced it into link 2 this uh, wire here was on link 2 so I've moved that to link 4 so basically these two swap places and I've added a 470 ohm resistor in R9 which is just below there you can see that little blue resistor so that's all I've done and now it works on the RGB and the AV thank you for watching please like and subscribe uh, buy me a coffee on buy me a coffee or coffee links are all in the description uh, you can support me on patreon thank you for watching bye